Hey everybody, Fuzz Fuse here. Welcome back to the another part of our Let's Play of Shadow Colossus Hard Mode. In the last part, we took care of uh, Colossi 11 through 13, and so today we are jumping and take on Colossi 14 and 15. So we're only doing two Colossi today. And then uh, next Tuesday will be the finale. So yeah, this series might be a five-part series, so yeah, I thought it would be four, but I was sorely mistaken, so yeah. <sighs> Anybody listen to that demo song that Mike Shinoda posted, the song Open Door? He was looking for people to do, like, uh, his fans to do, like, the, the chorus to sing it. And then he was going to put it into the, the actual song itself to finish it as like an official song. Which is going to be pretty cool. But it's only a demo right now. But like, yeah. I submitted mine. Uh, so, uh, if you want to check that out, uh, I'll probably post the link to the tweet down in the description below if you want to see it. or uh, So, yeah. Um We're looking for an open door something to see before Looking for an open door something to see before Need to get out of here Take off and never stop running. Run, 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 run. Take off and never stop running. Anyway, yeah. Now we're back to here. Back to Colossus 9. Of course, as always, he is dead. He has a tree on him. He's got tons of other small trees. But, you have to go through this area in order to get to where we need to go, which is yeah. Zenobia. So, yeah. Again, the shading, the clouds. I like it how it changed the effects of the colors of the, in the game. I like that. That's pretty cool. How it could be somewhat kind of sunny, then the reality is like, oh, shit, it's this area is a little bit dark because of the clouds. So, yeah, that because, through, as you guys saw in the last uh, episode, last part, uh, basically, there was a floating vortex up in the, uh, in the sky where we are in the forbidden land. And, uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, so really there's nothing else left to this game. I don't think, th for, I don't think Blue Point Games would have, like, a crap ton of goat symbols lying around. Even if they did, that would be a dick move. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, we have these alignments. But we also want you to find these goat symbols. Maybe they might lead you to something. Who really knows? It's kind of like a mystery. There might be some in each Colossus area. Like, they're all hidden in an area. You can't... Don't know where they could be, where they could be hidden. It's kind of hard for that, to be honest. And so, yeah, basically. Ugh. Like, I know there's, like, two goat symbols, or one goat symbol over by Doja's area entrances. This is pretty weird. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Sorry, Agro. This is a more of a person v Colossus type fight. It's just like the Celosia fight all over again. I'm sorry. Oh man. Ba 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 
Plus, how can you find like hidden goat symbols in these caves when they're so dark? And what about in the final colossus area, huh? How can you find a how can you find a goat symbol in that area, huh? Cause that place takes place in the middle of a thunderstorm and dark. I might add. Hold on, I need to take my big old gulp of Sprite. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Are you guys still quarantined from the whole coronavirus thing? I mean, I'm still pretty much am, and plus it's like... It's like only, like, I don't know how many days that it's already been. Alright. Well, anyway, enough of Corona. Let's deal with freaking Cenobia. I kind of thought Cenobia was broken for a sec. Oh, man. That would be real interesting. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh. Oh, yeah. Gotta make. Sinopia ran him, ran into the thing first. Boom. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> Again, there's like these small little tunnel things, and I have no idea. In the original game, they had no purpose. Even on the PS3 version, there was no purpose to these little tunnels. I don't know what they were originally for. Is it to like hide from Cenobia in case if you fuck up on like, your things? Very well be, but also, yeah, there was like, I, I think when I did my playthrough, I think I did went and got the one of the alignments in this area because, or one of the two, I think, because uh, I didn't get the last one because it required being in front of Cenobia when you start up the fight, basically. So, you need like the, the cloak of deception to turn invisible pretty much. So, yeah. Ugh, man. I'm sure this fight will, won't take us that long because I think we're going to do our usual technique that we did before in our mirror playthrough, which is, of course, the uh, jump stab maneuver. Uh. Again, the grass is still glitching from these pillars when when the thing is taken down. Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit! Oh, uh, hold on tight, Wander. We're going for a ride! We'll take it for a ride. I was just gonna say it took Sinobia quite a while to uh, to charge. I don't know why. I don't know. I think some of these colossi are still kind of buggy from the original game and also the somewhat PS3 remake. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I have right. Uh, the PS4 remake of Shadow Quest, this is the, my third time of owning uh, Shadow Quest because we got, because uh, we had it on the PS2, and then in 2015 when I got the PS3, that was, that's weird, I made it shoot at it twice for some reason because Zenobia got stuck, but anyway, then I, when I got, then when I got my PS3 back in 2015, I uh, got the game like, right after my birthday or before. I can't quite remember. Right around my birthday, but yeah. Um, best birthday present I've ever bought was the PS3. <laughs> that came out came out of my own birthday money that I got from my parents, you know, because it, it was like a for the PS3 that I got it was 110 bucks. And I think it's like one of the older models, I think. I have no idea. I can't seem to quite remember. 
But all I remember is that it was cheap. And I got a little big plant carding. And uh, I believe an Uncharted game, I think. Or no, I got a little big planet carding. And the first little big planet first. Those first two games, and then. Then when it came to getting a uh, freaking. Um, the PS4 a year later, that was more of an early birthday present. I'm waiting for Snowbeard to, like, not ram into me. First thing. And we are kind of stuck at the moment. Alright, go, 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 go. Don't stop running, Wander. Don't even look behind you, man. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, freaking Snowbeard. Oh, jeez, that was, that was scary. That was scary. Oh, man. That was scary and intense. Oh, man. Snowbeard could have freaking rammed its head on us. What are we almost killing us? Oh my god. In the process, because I don't know if you guys remember this in the Shadow Colossus versus race on the Gaming Master Channel. We will die to this guy. And that was like his first death. Which is crazy. Anyway. We finally did the 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 part did the and long getting over with a thing, now we can actually stab this bitch. Cause his armor is gone. He has destroyed the cowardly lion. Once and for all. Oh wait. That might have been a, a sister. Celosia, I think. The cowardly tiger. Alright, let's stab up. I think we kind of... I think we think it didn't work. Uh. The, the good thing is you have to find like a good spot. Like, the, like you need like to have like a good spot in order to stab... These... these oh my god. Uh, okay. Alright Snowby, do your thing. Oh, I see what you were trying to do. You were trying to ram your face at me. We all know that that's not gonna happen. Ram your face into this. Uh. Do this. This is what I was supposed to do. That kind of jump stab, and then uh. And then one last stab to finish the job. Uh. Put you down. Yes. As Moogle always says, put the doggo down. Even though it's not really a dog, per se. It's more or less a lion. Because it has, like, lion sounds. Anyway, yeah. 14 claws side down. Two more to go. And <laughs> we are done with hard mode. So, yeah. Uh, have you guys been enjoying hard mode so far? Because this is a fun little playthrough, I would say. Can you believe that I took care of the first six bosses in under 50 minutes from the first video? That was crazy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to try to do a lot of other things as well. It's going to be pretty interesting throughout this year. Uh, hopefully when my... Uh, lady friend is in town. We're probably gonna go see Onward, hopefully. When this virus thing is gone, pretty much. Because it, the virus only lasts for 10 days. That's what people are saying, you know. Now let's go to the to the sentry that the, sen the sentry that that destroyed a city. Time. Yeah. Yeah. At first, when I looked at Argus's face, yeah. his little yeah. mask, he looked kind of more like a samurai. So I'm just gonna call this one, this video, the Lion and the Samurai. Yeah, I don't know.
don't know if you guys can see that, but all the way over there by those, uh, like, stone, those sandy rocks, there was, like, a tree on top of it. Like, how can you reach that? It's like, it's like you can't. Can't even, bro. Anyway, I still to this day love this game. You know, my friends always keep saying, Oh, you should trade in your games. No, I don't want to trade my games. Because I can't. I don't have that kind of warranty on my GameStop games. Because I usually go to GameStop. I don't normally trade my games. And I don't do trade-ins no more at GameStop. Because they give you less money instead of more money. So, yeah. And also, game cases with the art on it is pretty rare nowadays. So, that is also why. Depends how good the game is, too. Now, I'm not getting rid of any of my games because I need to collect... I still need to collect more games from my game shelf, you know. I, that's what I am still planning to do. I heard that Mario Kart 9 is going to be on the Switch during the winter. Hopefully by the winter of this year. Cannot wait. I'm going to play that. Maybe pre-order it on launch day. Because holy crap. I, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a Mario Kart 9. Uh, I hope that gets announced for the next Nintendo Direct. That's going to be happening. Hopefully next week by the 26th. If it's not going to be announced, I hope to God. If it's not going to be announced, I will be furious. Anyway, to the castle we go. Because the 15th Colossus' area is, well, it's a castle, pretty much. So, yeah, basically. Alright, see you later, Aggro. This is, of course, another one of those fights that requires just me. I'm sorry, horse. We'll pop probably do this another time. I hope. But anyway, all right. Argus is the last guy that has three weak points, which we need to deal with. And to be fair, this guy is the most aggressive because uh, I'm not sure if you remember the other playthroughs, but yeah, he's very aggressive. He shakes a lot. But wait until we whoa whoa glitch, glitchy glitchy stairs on that side. I have no idea why. That's kind of yeah. I don't know what's the deal with those stairs. But anyway, um, yeah. So basically, uh, he has a uh, three weak points. Uh, I think we know where the one is. The two of them are. One's on his hand. One's on his head. But what about the third one? Well, you'll see why in a bit. But right now it's a little bit misty. And the game just wants us to walk all the way over here just to start this cutscene. It's very weird how it does that. And here comes the samurai himself. Argus. So, uh, basically, the third sigil is on his chest. So, yeah. This is probably going to be the one where we're definitely going to struggle on. Because, again, he shakes a lot. And I'm going to try to charge up my, my shots of these arrows. So I'm trying to remember what side the chest thing is on. Alright, come on. Yo, Argus, put your foot down. Put your foot down. Do it, you bitch. Alright, okay, we gotta hurry. Go, 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 go. Jump. Yes. Alright. Okay. Alrighty, already, already, already. It's time to whip out our arrows. Alright. Yo, don't turn, don't make your eyes glow black, please. Don't, can you, uh, can you not? 
Where are you going? Hey, I'm not done with you. We, we're just getting started, and I don't want you to leave. Okay, there we go. Uh, Alright. Come on. Uh, there we go. I am hurting him a little bit. So, that's probably... Because I think that's where the sigil is. Right where I, I was shooting. Your eyes go black for some reason. I don't wanna know why. This happens in the other two versions of the game. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Are, are, I think we're gonna try to make him destroy the bridge. Alright, come on, dude. Dude, you know where I am. There we go. I think I aimed at his head right there. Oh, dang. I think I missed. Okay. So, I think he's gonna do it. Just need to be careful. Yeah, he's doing it. Uh. <coughs> yeah, if we were on that bridge, we would probably be dead. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's dance. Uh, okay. There we go. Alright, let's do these quick stabs before he shakes. Oh, oh, okay. It's about to start. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I just fucking stopped him while doing that. Yeah! Oh, I see it now. Okay. I see where it's at. Okay, game. Oh, shit! Okay, be, be, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, guys, you see what I fucking mean? He shakes like that. Ow. And I definitely do not want to die. And his arm is going through the things. I have no idea why. I have no idea. Hey, put your put your foot down again. Hey, guess what? It's battle time. It's battle time with you, bitch. Hey, step. What are you doing? What What are you doing, Arius? Arius, what 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 are you doing, my dude? Put your foot down again. Hey, put your foot down. It's weird how he doesn't even sometimes pay attention. He put it in the wrong way. You motherfucker. Hey. Wrong thing. You're supposed to hit it on this thing, you idiot. Oh my god. Ow! Okay, that's bad. That's okay, that's bad. I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die. Okay, okay, okay. He did two. But I want him to do this one. Please. You piece of shit. Argus. My god. I don't know why. This fight is just... Uh, it's just a mess because hard mode that's why and that's why we're gonna struggle on this bitch the most because oh my god we're already, we've only been going for like 20 minutes already so basically we're gonna have to fight we're gonna hope we don't die to this guy if we do die to this guy oh fuck me it's probably my fault but yeah alright I guess hey get back here Yes, I know the fine hits hitting vitals. I know, but the hard part is getting on to the other one. I know, Dorman. Oh my god, can you not? Uh, my god, Dorman. Okay, jumping. Uh, back on the head. Oh, not on the mask. Please, not on the mask. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to be careful. Being ex ex extra careful. Okay, I'm trying to go drop down for a bit. Okay, but I could think we will have a small thing of grip. Even if we have a small thing of grip, we would have a much uh, frustrating time with this guy. So, yeah, pretty much. It's going to be hard for me to get to the sigil, though. Because he's going to shake a lot. Uh, just like this. Oh my fucking god. Please. Please, for the love of God, Argus. Can you not? Can you not, please? Oh, my God. I'm trying to get to your fucking sigil. Can you not? I'm in the worst spot right now. Oh, my God. I forgot about the flags on his chest. I forgot about that. He does have that. I think Barba also had some flags, and I believe uh, Valis also had flags as well, which was pretty interesting. 
That's why this guy is called Minotaur C, I think, because he's got Minotaur feet. But yeah, uh, this dude. I fucking know, Dorman! God! I'm wasting so much grip just so I can get to this fucking vital. It sucks. And I'm trying to get back up. Get back up to him because, oh my god, I'm about to run out of grip. This is going to be a very frustrating fight. I know. This kind of sucks. Oh my god. This... <coughs> this sucks. <laughs> to be honest. If you're, if you're having a hard... Oh, okay. Yep, that's the thing where it's like, oh shit, you're about to run out of grip. You gotta hurry, man. You gotta hurry. Oh fuck, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, I need, I need a good spot to like pretty much... Oh shit. To basically... I'm trying to get some grip. But doing so requires this guy to not shake. I swear to God, man. Just, just run, man. Just walk. Just walk, man. Never saw me coming. Dun 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 dun. But something, something. Uh, Mike, Mike, you know to getting under. But dun, but dun, but something. Dun 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 dun. All right. Oof. Yeah, I know, Dorman. You told me to find his hidden vitals. I know, man. It's a pain he has to get under his chest. That's what I'm. Just what I'm saying. This fight, in general, just sucks. And when you're about to almost die, too, because that also tends to happen. All right. If I do manage to die again, it is not my fault. It's more or less the boss's fault, to be honest. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. And this is, like, the worst spot to, like, you know, like, heal up to. Because it's, like, once once you try to find a spot, a, a, a hidden spot to, to heal up, basically, you can, like, destroy s stuff. Which is why I am healing up right now. <coughs> and his eyes are not glowing again for whatever reason. I have no idea why. I don't get why his uh, thing does that for some reason. Oh yeah, he will do that. He will try to find you and knock your ass. Ow. I don't know why he does that. I just really don't know why. Come to me, you dumb bitch! You are just the hardest boss to deal with. And you didn't even bring me far enough, oh my god. You were so far away, I had to do a long ass jump, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this side instead, but the hard part is doing with this guy's shoulder pad. Because when you're on his shoulder pad, he just sh keeps shaking, shaking, shaking. Or does something like that. Or if you hang on to it like that. And there we go. Alright, finally. Okay, okay, yeah. You see what I mean? This is like... He shakes. Just like that. <laughs> How can you beat this guy in like 15 minutes? I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Okay, well there we go. Took us a while, but we finally did it. Alright, time to bring his hand. Time to do his hand, because holy shit, I am... Basically... I'm done with this guy. I am literally done with this guy. This is gonna be like one of those fights that's like, Oh, Fuzz, he's like, he's done with this game. Yeah, I'm like, done with this game. I fucking 100% of this game when it came out. I got all the 
the enlightenment spike when me and my brother started playing this game and when I was doing the let's play, I was recording the let's play for it for 2019. Basically, I know, Dorman, shut your fucking mouth. I'm trying to stop it. Ah, my god. But anyway, yeah. I did so much. Trying to figure out all those hidden trophies. Because there were like a few of them. Okay, let's not drop. Even if we do drop, I am not letting go of this fucking guy. I'm going to do the same thing like I did before. Where I basically just climb down this dude's hand, or maybe not. Okay. Alright, we are totally going to die. Alright. Alright, dude. Are you going to put your hand down? No, you're going to put your foot down. That's what you're doing, you fucking bitch. I don't want to, you know, fight... Uh, oh man. Okay, uh... This is gonna take us a while to pretty much... Oh uh, shit! Sir, can you not? Can you please drop down your hand? Just like that, sir. Uh, okay, okay, that's kinda... Okay, that's kinda bad. That's kinda bad, right there. Because, oh my god. I need to pretty much, uh, uh get some health. Not die. Please? Okay, um, okay, I think I know what I should do because I am very, I'm very nervous right now. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, old-fashioned way. I'm going to try to get onto his hand by grabbing onto the things on his hands. All of his, his braces and stuff, his, uh, his gloves, which are in fact climbable. So, in a way, in theory... Okay, let's hope this guy doesn't kill me. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright. Because I was pretty afraid I was going to die to this guy. Which, to be fair, I am not ready to do. Because, basically, I don't want to really do this whole entire fight. Even if I do, that'll fucking suck. Alright. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> my palms are sweaty like my mom's spaghetti. These, 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 these guns are heavy. Okay, so... Right, there's something all the way at the end over here. I'm, ju I'm just gonna hide over here, basically, uh, until he doesn't, like, you know, try to take out all my fucking health and redoing the whole process. And, would you look at that? That's weird. That's a weird glitch. He just stops moving. <gasps> That's weird. You ever seen that happen before? When his eyes go black and he just stops moving? That's this Colossus for you. That's Shadow of the Colossus for you. Sometimes the AI for these bosses, they can sometimes just straight up ignore you. Or they can also just, uh, basically, they can just, uh, just, like, not move entirely. Just stop moving. Stop programming because they thought you you're gone. Basically, like they thought like you leave the area. Oh my god. Okay, this is kind of frustrating, but I am going to try. Have him put his fist down again. Hey, can you put your fist down? Can you please put your fist down, sir? Put your fist down and not kill me in the process. Can you not do that? Because I would love it if you would just put your hand down. I would love if you did uh fucking fuck 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 gap 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 get up wander what the fuck bro you're gonna get stomped again Alright let's see if he does this Nope he's putting foot down I don't get it you put foot down sometimes you put hand down I'm gonna fucking die to this guy come on Alright okay let's just leave the area for a little bit if we can come back with full health, figure out what we're gonna do, and then basically, let's hide in the corner. Hide in the little corner so that he wouldn't fucking kill us. In the arena. Out of the arena, I would say. But. 
What if the, what if the music just stops? Is he, is he walking this way? Oh, he's just walking away. But yeah, uh, here's something. Sometimes they can just, you know, uh, straight up walk away. Because if you leave, like, like I said, if you leave in a, an arena, I think they know it's like, oh, he's gone. Because I'll just head back to where I, uh, where I, uh, where the program has put me. And then, uh, restart the fight. Basically, uh, I don't know if I remember ever leaving a, 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 an arena. Not that I can think of. I mean, my brother, when he fought Phaedra before, I think he got stuck on it. And basically left the arena. So, yeah. But that was like a long ass time ago when we got the game. When we rented the game. Because first off, we got... The, uh, I think there's this... Uh, there's this thing called Jackspot. It was like this demo. Uh, this demo disc thing that came with like demos of games. One of them was okay. Look at this. Look at this. You see this, guys? He is not. For some reason, yeah, I don't get why. He's just not moving. Argus ain't moving. Hello, Argus. Argus, what are you doing, man? You are not moving, sir. This is a weird glitch. Oh my god. This is a weird glitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, weird glitch. He's not- Okay, that's weird. So, he basically went to sleep mode. Okay, game. Yeah, so... Again... <gasps> Shadow Colossus... Has some flaws. Not from this remake. This remake is, of course, amazing. Uh, but from, from when this game was originally made on the PS2, yeah, I'm sure this game had some issues as well. Because when it come to the when it came to the program of these colossi, I assure you, I have no idea how long this game was in the process of, of making. But like, yeah. Um. So yeah, this is just like, <laughs> yeah, I don't need to tell you, this guy, okay, yeah, this is what I, well, this is what I originally meant, getting on the hand like so, with these fucking things, basically dropping down like easy, and almost falling off again because oh my god I do not want to repeat the same ass fucking why is he taking me all the way back to where he was okay I don't get it okay now he's starting okay now he sees me okay 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 game I get it I get it now you finally realizing like oh shit why am I still walking back to my area where I spawned okay because oh he's on my hand I see now and blam you dead son okay oh you see what I mean <sighs> now it took us literally 38 minutes to literally do that and look how much stamina we almost had. We almost lost literally all of our grip, basically. Which, to be fair, kind of sucks, in my opinion. Um. But anyway, yeah. Uh, we're basically almost done. Now we just have to deal with freaking, uh, freaking, uh, Basically, uh, malice, and then that's basically it. Um, so yeah, basically, um, yeah, there's like nothing really to.
to this the rest there's like hardly anything left for us to do besides take on malice and finish up the game which is exactly what we're going to do basically um Be over. Thy wish is nearly granted. But someone now stands to get in thy way. Make haste, for time is short. The group of men are on their way. The group of shamans. They're on their way, and that leads us with the final Colossus, which will be heading to in the finale, which will be next Tuesday. So, so I guess that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been some views, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye bye.